In today's video, I will talk about the updated Omen 30L and we are going to see if it's worth it for you to buy this gaming PC. We are going to compare it with other probable PCs at the same price point to see if it's worth it or not. And if you have a budget below $1700 or above, you can watch my video about the best overall probable gaming PCs of the month by clicking in the top right of the screen. Now, let's start. Since there are a lot of models for the Omen 30L, I picked what I think is the best one in terms of price performance and it's the 30L GT 1380T. This one is customized, so you just have to go to the website down below in the description, click on customize and buy and change these settings. You have to change the memory from 8 gigs to 16 gigs, the storage from 256GB of SSD to a terabyte of SSD and the GPU from a 3060 to a 3060Ti. The grand total will be $1739. One thing they updated is the Windows, now it's Windows 11, so that's something to keep in mind. You have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, which I think is one of the best, if not the best, CPU in terms of price performance right now. You have 16 gigs of RGB RAM at 3200MHz, which is pretty decent, and you can upgrade it to 32 gigs depending on your necessities. If you are going to do multitasking and heavily editing then you might consider buying 32 gigs of RAM but just for gaming 16 gigs is more than enough. For the graphics card the 3060 Ti is like the CPU in my opinion one of the best in terms of price performance right now and it's going to be a beast for 1080p gaming and even 1440p. I don't think it's worth the upgrade from the 3060 Ti to a 3070 for 150 bucks since I think it's a lot of money for what you're getting. Now this is an OEM system and this means that the company manufactures their GPUs and CPUs and this is not necessarily bad since it's HP and I think they do a great job with these OEM systems. So if you're the type of guy that just want to game 1080p 240Hz monitor this gaming PC will be perfect for you and you're not spending above $2,000 for a gaming PC that can deliver excellent performance at 240 FPS on average in 1080p. And if you want to play 1440p or even 4K in some cases, this will work too with your necessities. Now let's compare this private PC to other private gaming PCs and a PC build too to see if it's worth it buy or you can get a better pre-built PC for your necessities. First we are going to compare it with this build Redux pre-built gaming PC and let me tell you that I think the Omen 30L is the better option here because on this Redux build you get some things that are not necessary for this gaming PC like for example the liquid cooling I don't think is necessary for the 5600X I think with a good air cooler it's going to be completely fine and same goes with the Wi-Fi card they are charging you an extra $30 for something that you may not want in your gaming PC because maybe you have already a cable that's going to be connected on your PC. Then you have Windows 10 which is not Windows 11 and that's something to keep in mind if you want a new Windows 11 so that's something you should keep in mind considering that you're spending more in a gaming PC that will perform the same and there is not going to be a huge difference. So I think the Omen 30L wins here. Now we are going to compare it with a PC build on the PC Park Picker website. Here the grand total will be $857, so it's cheaper than the build Redux and you get premium components. You will have this PC build as well in the description of the video in case you want it. You get a great airflow tower case, you get the 3060 Ti, 1TB of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM with RGB of course, and the MSI B550 motherboard, which is great for our build. I think if you want the experience of building your own gaming PC and you don't want to buy a pro build gaming PC then this is your best option but once again there's not going to be a huge performance improvement over the 30L and you're spending more money. And now we are going to compare it with two gaming PCs from Newegg, which I think is one of the greatest companies for pre-built gaming PCs. First, we are going to compare it with this ABS Gladiator gaming PC with the i5-10600K, which is pretty similar to the Ryzen 5 5600X, but here you get the RTX 3070 Ti, and there is a huge improvement from the 3060 Ti to the 3070 Ti. Maybe there is not such a difference from the 3060 Ti to the 3070, but to the 3070 Ti, it's a huge difference. 
performance. 16 gigs of RAM at 3200 MHz, so the RAM is the same and 1 terabyte of SSD, which is the same. The price for this PC is $1800 and right now it's on sale for a 14% of discount, so you end up saving $300. And you get a free upgrade to Windows 11. So I think here this ABS one wins just because of the discount, because if it wasn't for the discount, it would be $2100 and that's a huge price difference. If you want to do gaming at 4K, definitely is worth the upgrade, but if you are going to game at 1080p, there is not going to be such a difference with the 30 l but the price difference is not as big, so you may want to upgrade it anyway. And if you are wondering about what this gaming PC can run and how much FPS on every game, leave in the comment section your game and I will reply with the FPS average on the gaming PC that you want. And for the last PC that we are going to compare it is with another ABS Gladiator, but this one has the Ryzen 7 3700X and the 3070. Now this gaming PC for gaming is not better than the previous one, so definitely go with the previous one if you want gaming, but if you want multitasking and editing, this one might be your better option because of the Ryzen 7 3700X. So if you don't care that much about gaming, then you might want to go with this one. And it's better than the 30L because it has a 3070 instead of a 3060 Ti. Anyway, for gaming, this PC is still a beast. Don't get me wrong, if you buy this gaming PC, you won't be disappointed. So my last conclusion is the Omo 30L is worth the buy, but these two gaming PCs from Newegg are worth considering the upgrade from the 30L. I would go with the PC build too, but you get a 3060 Ti and a Ryzen 5 5600, which is not a better CPU GPU combo than these ABS Gladiators that I just showed you. And I definitely wouldn't go with the build Redux one. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content, and support will be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.